Hello and welcome to this episode of Lake Orion Sports Update. I'm Kevin McCormick. It's the beginning of a brand new year and we have new results in hockey, basketball and a whole lot more coming up right now. The Lake Orion hockey team continued their season with a home game against the Farmington Falcons on December 14th. The Dragons shut out the Falcons 3-0 and picked up the win. Lake Orion's TJ Hirschfield and Thomas Reith each scored a power play during the game. Gabe Podick put the icing on the cake with an empty net goal. The following Saturday, Lake Orion had another home game, this time against the Granville Bulldogs. Granville scored first with 10:40 left in the first period. Trevor Gelfius, with the help of teammate Patrick Underwood, broke through the Lake Orion defense for a 1-0 lead. The Dragons responded with their own goal just a few minutes later at the 6:29 mark when Gabe Podick scored and tied the game at 1. In the second period, Granville's Trevor Gelfius was at it again, scoring his second goal of the night. He was assisted in scoring the power play goal by Cooper Pratt and David Brazil. The Dragons were down for one nearly all of the third period. Lake Orion then pulled their goalie in an attempt to score and force an overtime period. Oops, that didn't work so well. With only 19 seconds left, Granville's Zach Tykaki broke away and scored an empty net goal, handing the Dragons a 3-1 loss. On Thursday, December 21st, Lake Orion held a home game against Rochester United at the Detroit Skate Club. The Dragons were determined to get a win following their loss against Granville on the previous weekend, and it showed in their more aggressive playing style. At 8.55 in the first period, Rochester United received a penalty for interference, giving Lake Orion the upper hand. The Dragons won the faceoff, and Podick zapped the puck right into United's net for the first goal of the night. With 48 seconds remaining in the first, Thomas Reed passed the puck back to Eric Gonda on the blue line, who then put the basket in the basket, putting the Dragons up 2-0. The party continued into the second period for the Dragons. Just after the nine-minute mark, Rochester United's goalie attempted to clear the puck, but instead sent it right to Lake Orient's Lucas Barber. Uh-oh. Barber then passed it to Thomas Reed near the goal, who tried to make the shot, but the Rochester United goalie made a great save, but the puck bounced off the goalie and Lake Orient's Mitchell Burney was able to force it in for the third goal of the game. Seconds later, Lake Orion won the faceoff and gained immediate control. Dragon player Nick Bergerman passed the puck to Kurt Bert, uh, Bedra in the Rochester zone, who scored the Dragons' unexpected fourth goal. A minute later, the Dragons found themselves on another power play in Rochester zone. Lake Orion kept control with their formation. Lucas Barber passed the puck to Gabe Podick, and he scored the goal, putting the Dragons up 5-0 going into the third period. Early in the third, Rochester United was able to get on the scoreboard. RU won the faceoff in Lake Orion territory, and Rochester's Nick Manios shot the puck past Lake Orion goalie Reed Marshall. A minute later, Rochester took advantage of the Lake Orion defense and scored again. The Dragons made an attempt to clear the puck from their zone, but Rochester intercepted and snuck the puck into the Lake Orion net, closing the gap, making it 5-2. The Dragon defense stiffened for the remainder of the game, preventing any more RU goals in the final three minutes of the third period. Then Connor Graham scored the last goal of the night on the faceoff, giving the Dragons a 6-2 victory. The ONTV crew filmed this game in its entirety. Tune in to the Game of the Week on Comcast Channel 10 and ATTU Verse Channel 99, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m., and Saturday at 1 p.m. for replays of all of your favorite Dragon games. Visit orion.ontv.org and visit our programming schedule for other replay times that best fit your viewing schedule. On Friday, December 22nd, the Dragons hit the road for an away game against the Howell Highlanders at the Grand Oaks Arena. The first 17 minutes went by without a goal from either team. Each team scored a goal in the second period, however, tying the match at one. Graham was the scorer for Lake Orion. He was assisted by teammate Gabe Podick. 
Lake Gordon had an explosive third period, scoring three goals as surging past the Highlanders for a 4-1 victory. Bergerman scored the goal for the Dragons, and Podick chipped in two goals of his own. The victory left the Dragons sitting in third place in the OAA Red Division with eight points and an 8-3 overall record. Troy is sitting just above Lake Orion with 10 points and an 8-1 overall record. Rochester Stony Creek is leading the pack with 10 points and a 5-1 overall record, but they are 5-0 in OAA Red Play. The girls' basketball team continued their season with an away game against Notre Dame Prep on December 12th. The Lady Dragons had a strong start, outscoring the Irish by 10 points. In the first quarter, scoring slowed down in the second quarter as Notre Dame tightened up their defense. Even though Lake Orion was only able to score three points while Notre Dame pumped in six, the Dragons held a 20-13 lead going into the second half. Scoring remained close in the third, with the Dragons outscoring the Irish by only three points. Notre Dame made one last push in the fourth quarter, scoring 11 points, but holding the Dragons to three. But Lake Orion was able to squeak out a 36-34 victory thanks to their earlier scoring efforts. Sidney Stringer paved the way for the Dragons with 12 points, and teammate Cameron Coltrane was not that far behind. She had 11 points of her own. Lake Orion hit the road once again on December 15th, this time for an away game against the Birmingham Seaholm Maples. The Dragons quickly got the upper hand against Seaholm in the first quarter, scoring eight points and simultaneously holding the Maples scoreless. After a quick timeout, Seaholm returned to the court with more energy and outscored the Dragons 12-3, taking a one-point lead into halftime. In the second half, Lake Orion rallied and strengthened their offense and defensive efforts and regained the lead. The Dragons walked away with a 39-22 victory over the Maples, improving their overall record to 3-2. The boys' varsity basketball team was hard at work before the winter break. On December 19th, the Dragons hosted a home game against Davison. Scoring went back and forth between the teams in the first quarter, ending with a one-point lead for Lake Orion in the second. Are in, like, in the second quarter, momentum shifted in the Cardinals' favor, and they took the lead 24-18 going into the third. Davidson began to slip a little in the third, and Lake Orion took that opportunity to chip away at the Cardinals' lead, cutting it to three. Lake Orion continued to outscore Davidson in the fourth quarter, taking the win 58-51. Dragon senior Jamie Lewis was the leader for Lake Orion with 27 points. Behind him was teammate Nate Talbot, who had 16, and Hunter Seitz chipped in seven. Next up for the Dragons was an away game against the Romeo Bulldogs on December 21st. The Dragons took control of the game early and did not waver. In the first quarter, the Dragons took a 25-15 lead. Scoring slowed down in the second, but the Dragons maintained their lead 34-22. In the third quarter, the Bulldogs returned to the court with a little more bite in their bark, but Lake Orion was able to keep Romeo at bay and kept the lead at 49 to 41. In the fourth quarter, Lake Orion sealed the deal, outscoring the Bulldogs by eight points. The final score was 71 to 50, and the victory improved the Dragons' overall record to four and one. Lewis and Talbert once again were the leading scorers on the Dragons with 16 points apiece. The Lake Orion varsity wrestling team took part in the Oakland County Championships in mid-December. The Dragons had great results and finished in third place overall. Oxford took the first place slot and Clarkston followed in second. There were seven Lake Orion wrestlers that took home medals, finishing in the top eight in their weight class. In the 285 pound weight class, junior dragon wrestler Hunter Chamber finished in fifth. At 189, senior Tyler Vesteran also found himself in the fifth place slot. Isaac Kinney earned fourth place in the 171 pound weight class and Noah Smith was third in 142. Jaden Fisher won second place in the 152-pound weight class. The Dragons had two wrestlers take home first place in their respective categories. Senior Sam Kinney dominated the 215-pound category, and junior Dylan Wellbaum led the 160-pound weight class. Congratulations to the Dragon wrestling team on their county championship results and appreciate them for keeping up all the hard work they put in this season. That wraps up this episode, first episode of the new year of the Lake Orion Sports Update. Tune in next time for more winter sports coverage. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.